Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video. Uh, I think this one's going to kind of wrap it up for this weekend of videos that uh, I've been putting out here lately. It does feel good to kind of get caught up on a few things, but uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up with this one here. And uh, this is uh, Mitarazaki Kyoka. And uh, as I mentioned before, the name of the anime for this one is Kyoren. Kazoku Nikki, or better yet, The Diary of a Crazed Family. Now, I've touched up on the anime before, but uh, I'm just going to kind of go over this one more time here. Uh, basic idea is that a thousand years ago, Inca the God of Destruction died, saying that its child would destroy the world. So in order to prevent this from happening, the Great Japanese Empire Paranormal Phenomena Bureau of Measures begins Operation Cozy Family, or Codename Olympus. This family is composed of Oka Mitarazaki, who is an official of the Bureau, and as you see here, the character Kyoka Mitarazaki, who is a self-proclaimed goddess. Now, as parents, the children, human and otherwise, are the candidates. They are all potentially the prophesied child of Inca. So the goal of the operation is to discern which child the prophecy applies to and to teach them about the love of family in hopes of convincing them not to destroy the world. And the anime and the story basically focuses on all the mishaps and all the adventures that this ragtag family that uh, is put together experiences. As far as the character we have here, who is Ki Kiyoka, a little bit about her uh, being the family mother. She is 20 years old, however, has the appearance of a little girl with cat ears and a tail. Uh, she used to be worshipped by the people of an underground kingdom called Shangri-La. However, she ran away because she felt something was missing from her life. She's originally from a race of demons that uses other people's bodies as theirs. And uh, she used to be their queen before abandoning them and uh, deciding to live as a human. With gorgeous black hair, deep green eyes, and uh, as tall as Oka, but her secret actually cannot be discovered. Her memories of a demon were erased. Her name as Demon Queen was Vanessa. Due to her past of being worshipped, she is very arrogant and has a destructive nature, but despite her personality, she actually cares about the family and is trying to do her best. As Oka's wife loves him dearly and is very jealous when she found out he uh, went out with another woman and tries to have a husband and wife relationship although she gets most of her ideas about relationships from soap operas, which can uh, definitely lead to some embarrassing situations for her husband, Oka. At the end, she is last seen heading back to Shangri-La to find out who she was, leaving many of her mini dolls with her family for company. She has an ability called Kentai Denwa, or uh, cell phone, which allows her to manipulate a person's mind or control a set of mini dolls that help her when necessary. It says here in the fifth episode of the anime as well, she uses this ability to communicate telepathically. Uh, she's also a very bad cook. Uh, there was an episode where she made an anniversary cake and it had bullet holes, voodoo dolls, and knives uh, thrown into the wall. Uh, and uh, it basically frightened her meals, basically frightened everybody in the family. Uh, the food has this really ominous glow or it comes to life. and. Uh, she has a strange habit of naming people around her with weird names, saying they should be proud of the name given to them by a god. Ironically, though, she is the mother of the family. She is also the shortest member of the family as well. But that's a little quick bit about the anime. Uh, as I mentioned before, it can be tough to find this one. It was never released outside of Japan and the North American region, so there are no official releases, and uh, I do not even know if any possible fan subs are still out there. If so, the torrents may have dried up quite a while ago. I know I downloaded my uh, copy that I have of this like 
back in 2008 uh, from a site that's been pretty much dead for a while even though it's still there um, pretty much all the torrent links uh, have no activity whatsoever so I mean good luck trying to find this one you may have to uh, import it if you really want to see it but uh, if somehow you do manage to get a hold of it, I do highly recommend go ahead and checking this one out. So before we take everything out of the box, let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look at the box. And, and of course we're starting out on the front here with the stock photo and a lot of kanji. This is from the Good Smile Company and uh, it does note in the bottom right hand corner this is a 1 to 8, one eight scale figure although to be honest uh, going by the size of her I, I would actually say it's more of a 1 to 6 scale because if you again get a chance to watch the enemy she is really short and uh, given the size here she is almost uh, at the size of a 1 to 6 scale Sena Kashiwazaki figure that I have. So I think for myself, saying 1 to 8 scale is a bit of a stretch. Take a look at the side of the box here, though. This is kind of interesting. The side view shows her back side view. Uh, we also have a little tiny window, or actually a set of six little windows, that uh, shows in to the box here. And then if we turn around and take a look at the back, Again, we have another view of the stock photo, this time from the front, showing the two uh, Nindoroid Petites that come along with this as well. Uh, you could also say that uh, from the description I gave earlier, these would be two of like the mini Kyokas she controls with her ability cell phone, which uh, you also note on the top of her head here, her head antennae, which of course doubles as cell phone antenna so very cool as well a couple other small photos of the figure as well and then we have our information of course once again all in kanji so don't really know what the majority of this says we do have the officially licensed uh, holographic sticker here and uh, it looks like a letter H Japan. Uh, this is not a hentai series by any stretch of the imagination. So the H obviously standing for something else. Not sure what it is at this time. But uh, then we look over here at the left side of the box and once again now we have the stock figure of the front side or the stock photo I'm sorry of the front side of the figure and the two petite nendoroids as well. All right, that's it for the box. We'll go ahead and get everything out here, and I will be back with you in just a bit. So here we have everything out of the box and put together for you, including our two mini Nendoroid Petites that come along with this. Now, as far as things go with this release, the main figure itself, there is simply the base and the figure. Uh, there, nothing disassembles from the figure, nothing comes off, and this is the one pose for the main figure. Now as far as the petite nendoroids go, it's a little different because as uh, some of the other videos that I've filmed this weekend uh, I've shown for you that they are a bit more flexible in what they can do. Um, the arms on both of these figures are uh, maneuverable, so you can kind of repose them. The heads also will swivel. The bodies are basically the same, and then on the back as well, the tail pieces, the, the tails will rotate also, which is kind of a good thing because the little support bar that comes out, uh, the way that it is placed, it can uh, kind of affect how you have the tail pointed. So uh, maybe it would have helped if they had a little bit longer uh, support arms and attached to the head instead of at the middle of the back that way. So the tail would be a little bit more free. But uh, that's just a minor issue really. I think they are really cute and uh, 
course we've got like the one mad expression and we've got like the like an anxiety expression almost but uh, yeah two little mini uh, Kyoka nendoroids you could say but uh, overall good smile you know did a great job on this one I love the paint job looks great uh, multi-tone to the hair you have the light and the dark purple and uh, definitely intricate they did plenty of carvings here to uh, make sure that it gives some definition and she has her cat ears as well green eyes and uh, bell at the neck we have one bell on each wrist also right above the hand but uh, cute dress and then the base as well the base has the name of the series there in uh, kanji so uh, happy to be able to pick this one up especially for a little bit more of a obscure anime that uh, probably quite a few people really haven't heard of and it's too bad because this is one that uh, I think could definitely if it were to get released by say NIS possibly or uh, maybe even Discotech I'd love to see an NIS release for this because uh, it is just an absolute funny slice of life type family series even though it's like one of the most dysfunctional possible families you could think of having a regular human and a cat woman and a jellyfish and a tiger and a killing machine robot and a little girl who's actually been tortured most of her life and may possibly have homicidal or suicidal tendencies depending on the situation so uh, yes again one I definitely would recommend if you have a chance and you are able to check it out and uh, if you do and you like it you know, lean on a couple of these companies and say, hey, I'd like to see you license this and uh, possibly consider releasing it here in North America. Again, I'd love to see NIS get it just to get a really freaking cool box set and uh, add in. But, you know, if even Discotech were to pick this up and give it a basic release, I would buy it right away in a heartbeat because this is just... A really awesome series so thanks everyone for tuning in for another video and uh, listening to me rant about this series just a little bit and as I said that's gonna be it for a little while uh, I'm gonna be working my butt off this week at the main jobs so uh, probably see you again here come Friday or Saturday uh, depending on what happens but take care talk to you again soon